using sprints. Sprints are an easy and effective way to schedule tasks in your projects and help you avoid wasting time scheduling and rescheduling your task lists. The sprint screen gives you one easy to read view that combines all your task lists but only contains the tasks that you're currently focused on completing. Combine the sprints with the mass update feature and you have a quick and easy way to schedule and manage all your projects. Now let me show you how I like to manage sprints and how we use this feature to better manage our projects. When adding tasks to a project, tasks are added with a priority but not with the due date. This leaves the tasks due date as pending. Tasks for the sprint are selected and then all assigned the same due date, which is the due date of the sprint being created using the mass update feature. The sprint is then saved and named, and that's all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and create an actual sprint. So the first thing we'll do is we'll click on the sprint icon in order to access our sprint functions. And then I'm going to choose Update so that I can do a mass update of all my tasks. Now you can use the Update screen even if you're not creating a sprint, and this gives you a lot of convenience and speeds up managing your projects. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to use our Update screen to create a sprint. And you can see that you can sort by various parameters, by who it's assigned to, what the actual due date is, the status of the task, whether it's overdue or not overdue, and you can choose to have all the pending due date tasks included in this listing. And if you choose to narrow your focus to a specific list or a set of lists, you can do that in this area here. All you have to do is click on the lists, and now the system will only display the tasks that are listed in these three task lists. But for this sprint creation, I'm going to show all the task lists, so I'm not going to check any of these. But I do want to include all pending tasks, so I'm going to come up here and check this box. And now submit. And now down below you can see my list of tasks. And now what I can do is I can click on some of the tasks that I want to add to my sprint. And I'll come back here to update task. What I'm going to do is include the start date and end date. I'm going to set a start date of today. Add a completion date of next week and hit update. And now you see that my tasks have been successfully updated. And now I can come into my main menu. Again, I'm going to come into my time frame, go to custom, and I'll select the time frame that I created. Hit submit, and you see the tasks that I added through the mass update. And now what I will do is save my search and name it so that I can get back to this sprint at any time I choose. So come down here to save search and add your name into this field. Save it. And now when I want to come back to this sprint or any other saved sprints, all I do is click on Saved Search and it'll display a window with all of my saved sprint names in it. That's it. That's all you have to do to easily and quickly schedule your tasks and create sprints. Mm -hmm.